Hi everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019 and a half Forest River R-Pod 176T. This is the new 19 and a half version so it will be different than the early 19 versions out on dealers lots right now. These are just starting to hit the market. This is their 10th anniversary edition, so you're going to notice quite a few changes on the unit. Uh, on the outside, one of the biggest changes you're going to notice is going to be graphics. Uh, that is not blue outside anymore. It is actually a solid gray base with some white and dark gray circular decals. So this is going to look different on the outside. This unit has the optional power tongue jack, which has a built-in hitch light and adjustable foot pad. Standard two inch hitch ball, adjustable safety chains there. You have the breakaway cable, standard seven way Bargman hitch plug with your running lights and brake setup. The camper does have brakes, so it is important to make sure you have a brake control in your truck or SUV, whatever you're towing this thing with. Single 20 pound propane tank on the front. It has room on the A frame here to put a battery or two depending on what you want to do there but there is room for batteries there um, the dealership here couches rv nation does provide you with one you can option in a second if you want you have a little light on the wall here that actually turns on and off by a switch right inside the door at the foot of the door the lower diamond plate metal helps protect with uh, le uh, rocks and debris and stuff flying up just kind of keeps it from damaging that fiberglass if it were to happen and the fiberglass is one piece from this diamond plate all the way across the roof to the back cap you'll see that cap on the rear end when we get back there because it is a hybrid version but uh, basically fiberglass one piece from here to that cap so it's not a rubber roof like a traditional RV on the front corner there's another little new feature down here they started doing you can kind of see i stuck the power cord thingy in there um, but that is just a little holder to hold your seven-way bargman cord so that's new for this version there is a gas line hookup here for a portable grill or something if you wanted to do that there's heavy duty scissor jacks on all four corners of the RV. A good three quarter inch socket zips those down to the ground. Your dump hose holder right there. LED running lights on the side and rear of the coach. Double entrance step going into the camper and that step is the aluminum tread plate instead of steel. This particular coach was ordered by the customer with the optional R dome. So you could see that little black track here. That is where the R dome screened in tent room slides in and goes all the way around. So it's almost the size of the body of the camper. It's actually bigger than the original awning or the optional awning that you can choose. But you do have two choices basically or three choices really. You can do none or you can do the R dome or you can do the awning that goes across the top. Now the awning, which you'll see in the video of the new 190 10th anniversary edition I did, actually has an LED light strip built in and, and a power feature to it now. So the awning is also changed for the 10th anniversary edition. But your choice, one of the three, none, dome, or awning. And you have your entry door with a window, large folding entry handle there. You can kind of see the swirly graphics, circular graphics they have on there now. Again, throwback to that 10th anniversary version. Up top, there is your porch light and two outdoor speakers. Now, up a little bit higher, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but there is a new TV antenna feature right there. You can also see your air conditioner up there, optional 13.5 BTU low profile air and you can also see the uh, roof vent for the maxi vent fan that is in the bathroom you'll notice a new logo on the side right here talking about the 10th anniversary edition you'll see your model number here and another new feature for the construction part of the rv 
is the new Asdale composite sidewall. This fiberglass is not glued to a Luon board anymore. It's glued to a Asdale composite, so it's less susceptible to any type of delamination or water leak damage because it's not a wood material anymore like it used to be. So that is new, a nice improvement for the construction part of the R-Pod. You can see the new frog logo it used to be in a canoe. Now they've put it in a plane with the 10th anniversary banner flying behind it there. So that's a, a new little feature that they put on there. Just below that is your electric outlet and your black tank flush feature. And you can also see the 15 inch aluminum wheels. Those wheels are on an independent uh, torsion flex axle system, so it's not a leaf spring. It actually gives it a softer ride when it's bouncing up and down the road. So a nice improvement compared to some of the other hybrid looking campers on the market right now. Here on the rear of the coach, you can see the fiberglass rear shell that has a lid that's opened up and comes down when the bed's in end mode. But uh, it does also kind of act as an awning over top of that material. So that's really cool. Helps kind of when you're getting rained on and stuff like that. Nice LED taillights on the rear end. One feature that is a little different, you do have your spare tire mounted to this bed. So when that folds inward, it's not taking up your inch and a quarter bike rack hitch receiver down there on the bottom but it does add a little bit of extra weight to this bed when the person is trying to raise that in and out. So that is something to consider. Now this tent does open. These sides right here have screens, so that can be opened. And then also this portion right here unzips and you have a screen in there too. So you can have quite a bit of airflow around there if you want to. It's really nice on a fall night to not have to use the air conditioner and just have a lot of windows open and the tent material opened up. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you want to keep updated with some of the new videos. I've been trying to update all these new 19 and a half models as they come in. We do order a lot of campers here at RV Nation, so we like to keep our customers as up to date as soon as possible on this type of stuff. Now, there is storage across the back section here. It was a little larger on the other side. That box right there has the R-Dome tent in it. Um, so that's where it actually comes when the factory ships it to us there. You have a gray tank dump right here. A low point, uh, uh, sorry, fresh tank drain also, the little white line hanging down there. Then behind the tire there is your hot and cold low point water drains for winterization purposes. Six gallon gas electric quick recovery water heater, city water and fresh water fill-ups right there, and your furnace exhaust. The slide out on the camper is an electric Schwintech by Lippert slide system. You can see the two tracks that pull it straight in and straight out there on the side of it. And that, in case of failure, you can pop the little motors out and hand push it in. But that is an electric slide system. You have your outdoor utility shower here with hot and cold water. That's great for coming back from the beach and being able to hose off your sandy feet or you got pets and they get dirty. You can hose them off outside. Also, you'll notice on the fender well there, there's a running light on the side there. That's kind of a nice little touch. The detachable power cord, it's sealed off. Nice little feature there. It doesn't pull out like some of the cheaper RVs on the market. So that is sealed. Helps keep bugs and stuff from crawling up and getting through the hole. Cable and satellite hookups. Your black tank dump on this side. So there are two dumps on this model. Down below, again, you can see your uh, dump hose holder there. Then on the corner of the coach, you're going to find some sticker information. So you have your info on the axle. This is a 3,500-pound axle. Keep in mind, you have hitch weight, too. So your gross weight is 3,790. So 290 pounds of hitch weight. 
The tires are ST22575R15D range tires. And that is standard. Some brands are 14 with an option for 15. So keep an eye on that. Uh, basically tells you 65 PSI for your tires there. Now I forgot to mention up here earlier but right there is the dry weight sticker that you will find on campers when you're looking them around. That that is 3,033 pounds for a dry weight on this camper. Overall, I think they did some really nice improvements to the outside look of the coach. Now we're going to go inside and you're going to notice quite a few changes inside also. In the camper, they changed up the little bit of the woodworking, the flooring, and the tabletop, and some other things. Going into the coach here, you will find your dry weight sticker again, along with the carrying capacity sticker saying 740 pounds of carrying capacity. Right inside the door here is your electric box with your breakers and your fuses. You have some storage there, the optional 24 inch LED TV, and then some monitor panels and stuff up top along with the radio and indoor outdoor speaker switch. You can see while we're zooming up toward the top here, you got a couple indoor speakers, LED lights, and new ceiling panels. I'm gonna walk up into the coach now. We're gonna look toward the front first and then we'll check out the back section. But looking toward the front of the coach, you have two bunks. These are wider bunks, so that is a nice feature over especially the earlier versions a few years ago where they were pretty narrow and only really meant for children. Um, there is a new cabinet there, along with some cabinetry up above here. You can kind of see back in behind here in the bunk area. They each have a light and they've got a little cubby holder thingy there. And these are the nicer teddy bear mattresses. So they just got a little bit better feel to them. Same thing down below here. And you can see the electric outlet down there too. And right next to this bunk area, again, is your TV area. And you got your switches here. Um, they do, even though this one don't have the awning, they do have the pre-set up for the, the button here for the awning and the awning LED light. Um, you have your porch light, interior light switch, slide out button, water pump and water heater switch, and your battery and fresh water and black water fills right there. Then your Furion stereo system and speaker control switch right here. Now there is an HDMI input and USB input here, a uh, little headphone jack thing. But basically, uh, traditional stereo, it does not have CDs, but it is Bluetooth. Uh, so you can connect your phone to it and play off of your smartphones. Looking toward the back, you can see here your air conditioner, which was an optional feature. Most people do get that, so it's very fewer sold actually without it. But quite a bit of floor space as it does have the slide out again. You can see the little cubby below the refrigerator there. They did the stainless front on the refrigerator. And this is a 3.7 cubic foot Dometic three-way refrigerator. A lot of the other brands similar to the R-Pod are using a two-way fridge, so it only works on gas and electric. This one actually works on gas, electric, and 12-volt. You can see the different buttons here, along with your temperature control here. It's got a little push button on the top to push down and actually open the door. When you turn it on, it's got a little blue LED light system here. But this is a little removable freezer part here if you didn't want to use the freezer. It does have a removable capability, so it's just a big fridge. Up above is the convection microwave. That's an optional feature. If you don't want it, you just get a storage cabinet there. 
and the convection microwave obviously does what it says it cooks or microwaves so you can use it either way two burner stove top this changed a little bit because they made it a stainless look instead of a black look so that did change a little bit but basically the same stove they've been using for the last year and a half two years whatever it's been counters did change a little bit you can kind of see the counter there that did change up some and the sink changed also so a different little round cutter cutting board slash strainer thing a nice undermount stainless sink instead of a plastic sink that some of these other brands have been using and it's rounded now instead of square high-rise faucet you have a nice window that does open so when you're doing dishes or cooking or whatever you can also open that up and let some of the smoke and stuff out Electric outlet there and storage above. You'll notice a little strut on the door holding it up there so it doesn't just fall down. So that's a cool feature just to kind of keep it up and out of your way. Also, you'll notice on the cabinetry it's using recessed hinges instead of hinges that you visually see. So they're kind of a recessed hidden hinge there. The slide out fascia changed. You can see that here. So that did change up. On the left area here, there are three drawers down there. And these drawers are full extending ball bearing drawer guides. Same thing over below the kitchen counter there. There's two full extending ball bearing drawer guides down there. Your propane leak detector down there. And then we're going to pan up into this closet area here. It's a decent size area. You can hang some clothes here. Um, I might even, if I owned one, build an extra little shelf in there on the lower part just to separate it a little bit. But uh, that is a pretty good size closet. Now here you have your digital thermostat controlling your 20,000 BTU furnace and your 13.5 BTU air conditioner. Now a lot of brands that I've noticed have been using a cheaper analog version for their 18,000 smaller furnace and they're using just the little knobs on the air conditioner to control them so that is a nice feature there it's a little more accurate than the other versions and there's a wall switch right there which goes to your bathroom light switch again the unit is also pre-wired for solar panels I forget to tell people that sometimes but that is pre-wired for the solar system In the back area, you have your new table, so that did change coloring. This is the new Starlight Decor, so this has changed. It is different. The decors did change up. You can kind of see there, but it's kind of a heavy, thicker little vinyl-y material, I guess, pleather material, uh, but it's got a little texture to it, and then the part here is actually cloth. Below that is your furnace. So your 20,000 BTU furnace is right down there and your electric outlet also right down there. Window on both sides of the dinette again, so you get a good cross breeze. Now you can see here, this table will actually come down and make into a bed. There's a little, uh, area that they kind of sit on but it's mostly rested on these the steel frame nice table but you can drop that down and I always get the question could somebody sleep on the dinette while the bed's out yes you could but you're sleeping long ways across the foot of the bed so you can see that's probably about a two and a half maybe three foot section right there that you could actually sleep across the foot of the bed if you had a third or fourth child and you needed to sleep somebody back here. Other than that, the bed does cover part of the dinette. So you can actually flip this bed back up out of the way, which didn't do a very good job there, but you can flip it back up out of the way and you have seating around this whole dinette.
Again, be sure to check out more of our RV videos. My name's Ray. If you have any questions or would like to purchase one of these new RVs, my toll-free number is 888-417-8299, extension 203. Again, Ray with Couches RV Nation. Thanks for checking out my video.